So if we don't connect in the first meeting, then we don't really have a great chance at helping many new clients, right? Well, there's a simple strategy that we've been using to connect with people that we've never met, whether it's in person or on the phone or video call. My name's Dave Zoller and I run Streamline Financial. It's an advisory firm in the Chicago area. And if you're an advisor too, be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna put out new videos each week and it's focused on advisors, really around growth strategies and practice management and, and client communication ideas and things like that. So if interested, subscribe. And when you think about it, we're really at quite a disadvantage this year, especially really since March of last year, 2020, where we've had to move everything virtually, right? We're not having many first meetings in person anymore and not being in the same room with someone, whether it's the first or second meeting, it really makes it a lot harder to, to connect. Or there's some things that we used to be able to do that we can't do anymore. But there's a simple thing that we can do to really build a strong relationship in that first interaction, even if it's on the phone. And it all has to do with the questions that we ask, right? It's not about the credentials behind our name or the big firm that we work for, or even how smart we say we are or think we are because the person that we're talking to they'll feel connected when they know that we care and we know something about their situation or problem that they have now there's a specific question that we do ask that helps show that we care but you actually really do have to care you can't fake this right asking a question without genuinely being interested in the person sitting across from you or, or talking to you on the phone it won't work if you're not interested. So you have to make sure that you're fully present and you've got a mindset of giving versus taking. So here's the framework that we have been using and the question that we ask. And we used to ask this very early on in the conversations with, with new prospective clients, but now we've moved it towards the end of the meeting because it really ends the meeting on a positive note. And you know that saying, I think it might be Maya Angelou of, they don't remember what you said, but they remember how they felt. So this just gives us a greater chance at that happening when we do it at the end. So what we're doing is finding out what's most important to them and to the, this new prospective client, whether it's a couple or just an individual person. And in the meeting, while we were talking with them, they may have mentioned their financial goals and maybe their dreams that they have, uh, you know, which they need money and planning to achieve. But just talking about their goals doesn't really get to the real motivation behind the things that they're planning for. In order to really connect, we need to know the why behind that goal, behind the money goal. It's the emotional element behind that financial goal that makes a big, big impact if we know what it is. So if we can encourage them to share the emotional part, then you'll be doing something that most advisors are not doing. You and I both know that we spend money on the things that we value most, and so do our clients. So some people might, they might value going on a family vacation a lot more than others. So they might spend a lot more money on that vacation than others might think is, is reasonable. But they know that they're not buying the people who value that. They're not buying the destination or the event or that specific period of time. They're really buying these memories that they're creating and the bonds that they're creating with their family. So how do we get to their values? Here's the practical step. After the first meeting framework and going through our normal meeting, and we have a pretty good idea if we can help them or if there's a, whatever their next step is, then here's what we say. So we say, can I ask you a non-financial question? And then they say, sure. And then we say, everybody has different perspectives when it comes to money and to planning. Mine is different than yours. And I'm thinking about putting some recommendations together. And as, as I do, before I do, it can really be helpful to understand your perspective around money. So what's most important about money to you? And you may have heard this from either Bill Backrack or Carl Richards or other people who, who say it, but really this has been a great, great ending to the meeting. And they usually say, oh, uh, interesting. Let me think about that for a minute. And what they usually say is something around security or freedom or some of those base level needs, kind of when you think of the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, that first level. And then you say, that's great or interesting. What, why would you say or what would you say is important about security to you? What ends up happening is that they move up that hierarchy of needs and the answers get more and more meaningful to them. They're sharing things with you that they're not sharing with other advisors that they're talking to. And this is how you build a strong connection in that first meeting. Make sure that you write down the quotes, write down the things that they're saying, specifically in this part of the meeting, 
and use those quotes on the, uh, the one-page plan that you put together or whatever your next presentation is. We've been using a one-page plan that's been working really well. It's simplified, it's easy to do, and it doesn't take much time to put together for people. If you don't use the one-page plan and you're interested in how we do it, put a comment below and let me know because I can make another video on how we're using the one-page plan. Really, that comes from Carl Richards as well. And it's been a great, great benefit for us at uh, Streamline, but also for the clients and prospects that we've been helping. So if you haven't yet, subscribe and like the video, and then I'll see you in the next one. Take care.